In Alabama, they recently passed a law that prohibits abortion. Abortion is now a felony crime in Alabama. It was passed by the Senate. Governor Kay also signed the bill. They're going to send it up to Congress, to the Supreme Court, to see if it can get it passed. Even when Governor Kay of Alabama, who is the governor of Alabama, even when she signed the bill, she said that it's probably an enforceable law, but at the same time, you know, it is what it is. Um, this law that prohibits that makes abortion a felony also makes it you can't get an abortion even if the even if said egg even if said child growing your stomach was conceived by act of rape by act of incest and the third act i forgot but it's usually brought up when we talk about these exceptions to, to, uh, to abortion needless to say the whole world is an uproar about this um a lot of different camps, a lot of different sides, a lot of com- a lot of different communities feel a certain type of way about this. I've had conversations with people in my workspace. I've had conversations with people on the street who feel who live on other on, on either side who 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 dwell on other side on either side of the fence when it comes to this issue. I've met some people. I met quite a few people who hate abortion, who are pro life, and say that you know they just don't want to kill babies. They don't believe in infant side, and they feel like that's a terrible thing. I feel like there's some people who are like myself, who are, I guess, like, quote unquote, pro-choice, who believe in abortion, feel like women should have the right to do with whatever they want to do with their bodies. And they shouldn't be forced to conceive a child to bring a child in this world that they might not want or might not be prepared to not, might not be prepared to to uh, carry. And even then, I mean. I've always been I'm pro-abortion. I'm for abortion. And I understand the logic coming from the other side, particularly the right, where you do not want abortion because in your eyes, it's killing kids. In your eyes, it's infant side. And truth be told, you're probably right. In your eyes, it's infant side. In your eyes, it's killing kids. You know, I can understand why you would think that would be wrong. I, despite that, I'm still pro abortion. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm still pro choice. I do believe that if Catherine, if Denisha, if Deja wants to get an abortion because they're not ready to bring a child in the world, they're not in a financial position to bear this child, might be homeless, might be living on the street, or might be working two jobs trying to pay the way from school, and they just might have made a mistake, whatever, whatnot, something that just happens is what it is. I'm for them saying, you know, I just can't bring a child in this world and take care of it. The worst thing, I I don't want to force women to bring kids in this world where they either don't want I don't want I don't want to have a live in a world where if we have the option to stop it, we're forcing women to bring kids into this world that they do not want to care for or are not in the ability to care for. When my mother got pregnant with me, she always tells me this, always tells me this story. You know, it was kind of un, unwarranted. It was kind of unwarranted. She did not see it coming, did not see it coming. But at the same time, she wanted me to be here. She wanted me to be here. She had her own place. She had her own job. She was going to school. And she looked at it like, I'm in a comfortable enough position to bring a boy into this world, boy or girl into this world and provide for him. So she made a conscious decision to say, you know what? If I'm going to have this baby, I'm going to work hard as hell to prepare for it. I'm going to do what I got to do to make it work. I'm going to do what I got to do to make it work. That was her decision. And abortions were existent were in existence at that time and legal in the state of California. So she could have she could have got rid of my she could have got rid of me and waited to waited to four or five years down the line where she met her future white boyfriend who I remember very clearly and had a kid with him would have some little light skinned baby named Todd. You know, she could she could have waited. But um I don't know, I'm just pro choice when it comes to that. You know, um you know, I um there's not really much in depth I wish I had some more women to have on this podcast to have a conversation about this, but I wish I had a woman who was pro-choice and a woman who was pro-life to have a conversation with about this. A reoccurring, a reoccurring, um, a reoccurring criticism I saw on Twitter was everybody was talking about how the people, excuse me, all the people who voted yes on the bill to prohibit abortion in Alabama. They were all white, older white males. Everybody who voted no were uh, black people and women, but it was all white males. 
and there was this whole conversation happening on Twitter where it was like, see, it's just a bunch of group of old A word white men making decisions for women's bodies. And I felt like that conversation kind of lost its fire, lost its value because the governor of Alabama who signed the bill to okay passing it up to the Supreme Court and seeing what they're thinking about was actually a woman. Uh, the the governor of Alabama is actually a woman. Let me just add also onto this that I used to.